I two out of three. Two out of three. Okay. Do you want me to go? Every time. Do you want me to go? Every time, yeah. Okay. Elizabeth, it amazes me when I think about the fact that I get to be your husband. So many hikes, long car rides, dinner dates, campus walks, and prayers have led us to this moment. Over the past three years, you have pushed me to become the best version of myself that I could possibly be. I want to spend my life doing the same for you. Every day you continue to blow me away with how amazing you are. I truly cannot imagine a more beautiful thing. Miss Cone. I think of all the adventures that lie ahead of us, <laughs> and I'm just so happy that I'm the one who gets to be by your side for all of it. Getting to marry you is the proudest moment of my life, and I'm just so glad you chose me. I understand the importance of the journey we are now beginning and want both God and you to know the promises I am making. Ellie, I vow to continuously push you towards sanctification. I will daily strive to grow the two of us closer together as we grow closer to our Savior. I also promise to be selfless, just as Christ is selfless to us. I vow to keep you as the most important thing in my life, more important than the Gamecocks and Ted Lasso. I promise to continue the laughs, the hikes, the adventures, the soul-searching questions, and of course, the Sunday walks. But most importantly, I vow to wake up every day and make the decision to love you no matter what. You are my scuba, and I love you so, so much. My vows to you are not ones that I intend to keep on a theoretical or abstract level, but in the real, day-to-day, -day, messy, beautiful life we will live. Whether we are doing dishes or raising children, I give you full permission to call me back to these vows to remind me of my commitment and loyalty to you and our God. One, <laughs> Ryan, I vow to remind you of truth, righteousness, purity, loveliness and excellence so that God's peace will guard your mind. I promise to pray with you and for you in thanksgiving so that God's incomprehensible peace and wisdom will be with you. I promise to be patient, kind, humble, selfless, slow to anger, and keeping no records of wrong with my love for you so that Christ's love will become real to you. Finally, whether we fight, encounter sickness, when we may be poor or simply don't like each other, I will remind you that love always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres till death parts us. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Gosh, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. That is incredible. Turn around. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Dear friends, we're gathered here in the presence of God. Witness the marriage of Ryan and Ellie. The Bible teaches us that marriage is to be a permanent relationship between man and woman. Our Lord declared that a man shall leave his father and his mother and unite with his wife in building of a home and in following of Jesus. Well, what marriage does, what God intends for marriage to do is to help us look into each other's faces and see the image of God and see that we are extremely valuable as God's image bearers. Ryan and Ellie, as you guys take this step, there's gonna be incredible journeys of happiness and hope 
but there will be darkness and despair. It's part of being in a fallen world. Never forget that a loving God who created you both, who both by your proclamation brought you together, that he is with you always. May the Lord bless these rings to be a sign of the vows by which Ryan and Ellie have bound themselves together. In the name of Jesus, as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan? Say it. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve you in my life, but I thank God that it's true. I, I definitely don't deserve you. I don't deserve Ellie being in my life now, because there's, now there's two of you in my life. <laughs> Not only do I have to copy her now, but she has set for me an example of a godly woman that I have to find out there somewhere now. Like it or not, through merit and birthright, you are my role model, and I can't wait to see how you shape your feature so that I can copy you. I love you dearly, and little bro.